Hello folks, my name is Leah Bonasaki from the Master Lab Systems. So today we'll be looking at Python Fast API plus OAuth 2 with Google Login. So basically we'll be integrating uh, a OAuth 2 with Google Login to our Fast API project. Okay, so let's look at the introduction. So we have the first slide which is introduction to OAuth 2 and Google Login. So first of the first and foremost, what is OAuth 2? So OAuth 2 is an authorization framework that allows third-party apps or applications to access user resources without sharing passwords. Or also, it is widely used for social login, which is on Facebook, Google, GitHub, etc., etc. Well, just uh, in simple terms, what this means basically, OAuth 2 allows you to log in without sharing any password as long as you have already authenticating a third party application you can just reuse that authentication to just log into another system why google login simply and secure authentication method that's why we are using google login also it reduces the friction for users no new credentials are required or oh, which whatever you have just said now that once you log into a system such as google you can easily integrate and you won't have to relock into another system as long as you have already authenticated, meaning no new credentials required. Also, it enhances the security, trust, and usability. First API and OAuth 2 overview. Why use First API for OAuth 2? Okay, so reason why because of First API is a modern async creative Python web framework, which is also easily to be used, and also it is very easy to be integrated to other systems and there's quite a lot of huge support around it so also a supported built-in for all auth to flows it is a great use for apis needing secure authentication authorization let's look at the prerequisite and setup okay so what you will need to create this authentication using google login on your first api project you will need uh, the google developer console project of course of which i will be showing that in a moment as well so also python 3.9 plus and above that's the python version we require for this session also of course your first api and your uv core web server so first step is to create a google auth credentials in the google developer console once you create it you enable the auth2 from enabling the auth2 auth we set up a constant string we create credentials and then we also add our redirect url of which i'll also be showing that all as well okay so let's look at the flow to implement the auth2 okay so first of first thing is to build a google auth2 url handle the google callback exchange the code for tokenization and retrieve the user profile well, if success, retrieve the user profile. Okay, also, this is the demo flow for it. So, a user, for example, visits the site, attempts to log in, it gets redirected to a Google Auth Consent screen. On success, of course, you get redirected back to an Auth callback, and an access token is used to fetch your user profile. Of course, then you are logged in and you user account is being displayed in your screen okay so folks let's look at it in a code now so again for this demo i'll be using again my linux which is uh i will also be building on top of the previous uh repo we created last time so what we need first is to go to your browser so in your browser we can just type console uh, which is the Google console. Let's go to it. Okay, so Google Cloud oh, Okay, maybe I started in the wrong screen, but anyway, this is what you Initially or initially see on your Google when it comes to your Google console So either it's something like this or it's not this exactly But it's pretty much what you will be seeing when we are creating your first project in Google Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so from here this is where we need to come to create a new project. 
create a new already i've already created mine but then for this case i'm just gonna quickly show so once you create it this is what you should say you can name your project organization you don't need to you create it but for this time i'll cancel because of i've already created a project okay so that's my project and now once you are created once you've created your project this is what you should be seeing of course so from here we then go to our auth screen which is the go auth content screen to set up and enable the auth to our project so we go to it of which here we should be creating a client so a, yes we should be creating a client in this screen so a client it's what will be using this application for example uh, it's what is authorized to access this page or it's what will be allowed to integrate to this project that's what a client is okay so let's go to client clients so already i got one client which is what already i'm using as you can see once you've created a client this is this is what it will allow you to get the config to enter to integrate with your project so from here so i'll show you in a minute what this client looks like okay so to create a new one you have to come to here create client of course the application type meaning the application you are doing that will access this client it's what is it a web app an android app an ios app a desktop application of course depending on your uh, on your project so mine in this case is a web application so i have to use the web application so from using a web application let's say i want to create okay of course client name web client two because i already got one so from here moving on here we come now so we add the reader which, are, which in this case it's the local host one i will show you as well but of course uh this is uh that url this is what we will be calling it needs to redirect back to this url when it is creating the token okay so from there we will add that and you create so okay i will cancel because i've already done this process so once of course you create your client this is what you should be seeing after your client so in my case so again okay, we can download this client let's download it so what do we need let's download the json again which is fine so as you can see this is the details we need client secret client id of course so download it okay so in my case i have downloaded those so i'm just gonna open it so you can see what's inside that while it is so open it okay so in this case this is how the client looks like as you can see web client id this is my client id project id that is it which is project id that is that's the client so that's what you just need okay i'll exit this because i don't need it okay but basically that's the client that's what we need is our client so from getting those once you obtain those client config credentials you then need to integrate to the project so let's create a dot env file we'll create a dot env file as you can see here's my dot env file so which contains the google redirect url client secret and the google client id so from there once we have those in fine so now let's start to use the api let's start now to create our classes or our code let's add code to it so we can be able to start testing okay i got some snippets already in my uh, in my notepad so i'm just gonna pull those up okay so let's first start with the imports As i kept on explaining it i'm just gonna make it at a basic level so you can understand clearly okay so we add those imports in there so let's look at what else we need so of course we need to initialize the project and call the app so okay let's forget about that one okay so from here we load the config from the dot env file Okay, so app is equals to fast API. Of course, you add that. You can just add that. 
Okay, so now what we need, we need to load from the dot environment, the dot env file. So we load those env environments or those credentials in our environment file. So from there, what do we do now? Let's get again, let's create, let's initialize uh, our credentials, something like this we do. Okay, so from here, so let's do those again. This is what we need, which is Google Client ID, Google Client Secret, and the Google Read ID URL. So this is what we need, of course. We are getting this from the env file, so it's a must that we get those from the environment file since I've declared them in my env file, not directly in the project. Okay, so once you have those, so again, one check, if not that, then meaning you need to raise that error that again, your environment variables are not set or you need your environment variables. So of course, it's a simple check. So again, let's add one function now. Okay, so, okay, before that, let's add the Google endpoint. So it knows the auth endpoint it needs to use. Okay, so these are the auth endpoints. So this is the token endpoint and this is the user info endpoint. So of course this, you can directly access them without being logged in you know, or without being authenticated. So the system is to be able to do that for us and return that on a successful in authorization. Okay, so from there, what we have again, so the first, what, so now we need the first endpoint of which it's a home, it's a home page, this is what we call the home page because it's the home it's a home redirect page. So from here, this is it's the root page, so it's a home page. So what we need now, so if I were to run this, of course, for now, say I were to run it, uh, and then do that, run that. So of course, right now, it should just be a dummy welcome page, nothing fancy or anything. So if I can go to localhost, uh, put a thousand, okay, let's see what if I will okay, and just directly get it here. Okay, so if we go there, okay, this is what we can see currently. So of course, nothing is, nothing is mapped in yet, so we need to add some code, of course. So this is what you should be seeing. Welcome to Fast API, Google Auto Login. So log in with Google, you click there but of course let's first finalize it so again if we click that it's not gonna do anything at this stage so we need now the redirect which is the login url okay let's copy that again copy and paste so now that we have the login we can be able to log in but again this is not finalized so it will need the auth that will redirect us to the Google authentication page. So let's get that, uh, which is an auth, okay. So we get that. Then we'll call the last one, which is the profile, meaning it's the one that should get us the profile. Of course, I'll explain this in a sec. So from getting that again, let's get the last function which is the profile so of course this on successful authentication this is what it needs to return a full profile for the user account that's logged in okay so again let me just recap the code so first and foremost to load the credentials file from the .env file, we loaded those and then we attempt to connect to Google and then from connecting to that, so which is now on this endpoint, which is on this HRF login, this is what it's calling the meaning, 
when you click to that login it's going to come in here query these params attempt to authenticate from google also it will call this endpoint which is the callback to create the token because that's what give us the token back so from there it attempts to do that and gets the token back it creates each creates a bit token for us checks the token status if it's valid if it finds that it gets the profile if it gets the profile a redirect response with a full profile of a user info such as a name email and the picture for that profile for that user account so again lastly the last point which is the profile it returns our you logged in profile which is again the name picture and email okay so folks let's test that without wasting much further time again this code is available upon request now if you can request it for me i can directly give you a link to my google account to my github for it i can push it to github if folks you want this but again okay so let's test it now okay my web server keeps on reloading as much as i click control save it keeps on the loading so now that it's successfully loaded okay let's go back again so now if you can click to it it will attempt to log in us so as you can see i click to that look again choose an account to connect of course i got two accounts in this machine which is those you can see there so continue so as you can see now this is the client that's uh, that's accessing those are potential so you can see choose continue to fast epa tut so if i take this one for instance i tend to log in using it of course you are signing back in to fast epa tutorial yes i agree so send me in because of already i can get uh, authorized or authenticated to access this okay go in so now oh as you can see folks there it is now it has signed us in so we can look at the logs so as you can see it attempted to create uh, the to fetch the user account and also created what a token now for us of which the token was valid hence you can see that the status is 200 on successful return and successful response the status is 200 so meaning everything is working fine in this case also, I'll do a last test again, just in case if I didn't have access to this account. So let's test it. I'm just going to do a back. So again, it says you are signing back in, first API duty. But of course, if I were to click on cancel, say instead for some reason, I don't have the access to this account. So I no longer either for, I no longer know my username or my password for some matter. So I click cancel. So this is what we should be seeing now. As you can see, authorization code not found, meaning we were not able to authenticate and, we, and no token could be generated. So meaning we don't have authorization, as you can see there. So again, in my logs, it, as you can see, it tries to do that. It tries to access the auth callback, but again, the access got denied because we don't have any active token. So as you can see, a uh, better request, not far better request CSS meaning we don't have access to it hence even on the logs itself it's saying authentic authorization code not found okay okay so now that works successfully folks okay I think we can end here for today again if you like this video please share and uh, subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions uh, please post them in the comment section below i will be answering those folks please i'm signing out now thanks peace out cheers bye